And now we really have talked them into it. Yeah, you got beaten down by a fucking witch. You better not. <laughs> <laughs> we have an attack dog. You'll do whatever the fuck we say. Actually, excuse me. Attack wolf. You'll do whatever we say. <laughs> I like how Geppetto's kind of using that same language against him. And yep. We have solved, finally, our problems. Well, as best as we can for right now. How are we doing? We are terrible. Let's go ahead. And use a tent. Save. And we got a couple of things we can do over here first, but let's go ahead and do... We have one more thing to do before we can head out. Yay, the kids are back. Let's go talk to Granny. And yay, a happy ending for this story. One of the few, admittedly, in here, but yeah. Blanca is surprised. So I'm just going to clarify a few things, because they're implied, but yeah. The first off is that Joachim is familiar with Yuri, but only very slightly. Uh, if you were in, if you played the original Shadow Hearts, you actually got a family member of Joachim's as a party member. They are a family of vampires. Uh, often rather uh, flamboyant and showy. That's probably the best terms for him for right now, but yeah. So Joachim's another one in that line. As a matter of fact, I think he's the older brother of the one who was there in the thing. Now, older brother may mean something like a hundred years, if I remember correctly. Because they are vampires. They are very, very, very long-lived. If I remember correctly, Joachim is actually probably supposed to be some hundred years... Some hundreds of years old, and the other guy in the other game was like 400 or something like that. If I'm remembering all that information correctly. Don't take me straight at my word on that portion. But yeah, so Joachim has an ability where he actually can turn into the bat. So that's not just a passing thing. Uh, he has a random chance, depending on if you can figure out his little... Uh, how his little special ability works. Where he can turn into a bat, or become the Grand Papillon. Or just be Joachim. Or just be Joachim. So... 
the bat thing is nothing to be sneezed at. The bat actually is the strongest of the default forms. Uh, it has the least amount of HP, but it will pack a massive wallop. So I usually rejoice when the bat ever, whenever the bat comes out, because it means usually whatever enemy is coming up against it, uh, it's going down pretty quickly. <laughs> so yeah, there's that portion of it. The other part of it is this. Um, the other part that I was about to, that I trailed off on actually was, you had Joachim's brother or whatever in your party, but you could face Joachim as a special boss battle. Which is why he looks so familiar. Joachim, I believe it's the Valentine family? So yes, Yuri is both familiar with Joachim's family, having had a relative of his in his party once before, and he's actually fought Joachim if you managed to unlock a special bonus fight. Now, if I remember correctly, he was either in some other different form, or like the Grand Papillon form, or the Bat. But yeah, that was a special thing that you could do, so... Yuri is actually somewhat familiar with Joachim, but really, honestly, this is the first time where he's actually of importance, rather than just, oh, hey, he's here. <laughs> and I suppose I've spoiled half of it, because apparently he's asking about this, because Yuri is curious, but... Yeah... But yeah, it's a bunch of Shadow Hearts, so yeah. It's a bunch of original Shadow Hearts that wouldn't have come up at any other point, so yeah. And I don't know if we'll actually... Because I think that requires getting to the end of Joachim's quest line, so yeah. We might not. And we have gained Solomon's Key. Selecting Solomon's Key from the second page of the command menu displays an old map and a book titled King Solomon's Key. Place the crest in the correct positions to re within each region to, add to release the crest power and add to the crest magic you can use. I believe that is based on some old legend about King Solomon and the 72 demons, which, uh, let me just put it this way. I think that's a Jewish thing, because in all of my reading, I've read the Bible like three or four times, and, uh... No mention of demons. So it might be a Torah related thing or a, uh, not Torah. Um, but it's not in the Old Testament. And as far as I can tell, no mention of it is even made in the uh, New Testament. But it might be something among like Jewish stuff that I will admit to ignorance on. So I've never seen anything about the King Solomon's thing. In religious texts at all. But I have heard of the King Solomon and the 72 Demons, which is basically what the crests are. There are specifically 72 of them throughout the game, and you will be able to fit all of them into this. And yep, there's the reference. The overt reference. <laughs> Here he's getting pissy. Okay, first of all, in any other game, this would probably be a bad idea.
So yes, we now have the King Solomon's Key. And well, let's go ahead and put some crests just to show how it works. We'll be doing this frequently throughout the game, but yes. Grayed out areas, we have no crests to go in. Blue areas, I mean, uh, white areas, we do. So right now we have, so the total list is, I believe, Palace of Transition or Transport or something like that. The Enchanting Sea, Forest of Passion, Forsaken Hill, Flame Desert, Eternal Boneyard, Wilderness of War, Bastion of Riches, Spring of Wisdom. So we'll be basically encountering a bunch of stuff there. And what we do, let's go to the Enchanting Sea. You'll see that we have two here. So you have Cresselle and Focalore are both water-based demons, and so they will have water-based abilities. And they also have a little descriptor. A black-clothed angel with silver hair and golden eyes. So that's closer to Vavhar. An art lover who talks with demons in other areas. I forget exactly where this is, but let's do this. Giant demon cloaked in rain clouds. Rules water and controls times and storms at will, but he is powerless on land. This seems like a pretty good area for him. Actually, wait. Crest already placed, remove it. Yes. Oh, that is the clue we have to get. So we're going to do this. I think this is where he is. But we might have to come back here and make a few things, and some of these will probably be guesses up to a certain extent. All right, let's see how many we have here. Oh, we have a lot. Oh, yeah, if I remember correctly, this is like the first one I can do. Andras. A dark angel with the head of a raven. He can incite war and duels between men, for he is fascinated by romantic tragedies. Well, that area in the center looks like it might be like a uh, Greek play having out, so let's go ahead and put him there. We might have to switch these around a little bit, but yeah. An old man with a falcon. He knows all that happens in the world. He studies constantly in his home in the coastal forest. Well, this looks like a coastal foresty area. Let's do this one. Grimori. Appears as a gorgeous woman able to charm any living thing. He hates men and lives with beautiful women at the lake's edge. So looks like maybe here. Appears as a warrior in silver armor. Has the power of bewitchment and entraps men and women in a tent in the forest. Well, this looks like a tent. Put him there. Sea tree. A youth adorned with eagle feathers. Entices men with the illusion of a woman swimming in the lake. Loves his neighbor, Grammari. Well... That means we do have a, uh, small problem. Because I think we put Grimori in the wrong place. Grimori might be here. Because Sea Tree looks like it belongs in here. Zipar. Where have I put Fasago? Very good. Appears as a warrior in red armor. Disdains all living beings except Fasago, near to whom he has built his mansion. Boink. And that leaves Furfur. -fur. A deer with a lightning tail. All who hear him fall in love with one another, man or woman, lives by Grimori in the northern forest. Hey, look at that. All the Forest of Passion crests are in their correct positions. Cure has been newly added to the Furfur -fur crest. Bright Light has been newly added to the Grimori crest. Hail Beak has been newly added to the Andras. Rockrot for Zipar. Red Ray for Sea Tree. Gale spin for Salos, Evil Ray for Fasago. That will affect some things because that may change how I actually set these up on the uh, main screen. But we have some more. Let's do Forsaken Hill. Barbatos. A knight leading soldier is very mistrustful and always afraid of attack. Lives with soldiers in the solid tower by the woods. Well, this looks like a very tower-like establishment. Rom. A giant crow with talons dripping blood. The beat of his wings causes earthquakes. He likes the forest demons and lives nearby. Well, they're very pally with one another, aren't they? I'm going to put him here, if only because I see a couple of red marks over here. That's the best chance I got. We won't be able to confirm these immediately, so unfortunately we're just going to have to deal with them as much as possible. Akares appears as an old wise man with withered legs, lives by the sea, and rides crocodiles when traveling. Master of Morphing. Well, this is very close to the Sea of Enchantment. Let's put him here. Flame Desert. 
Oh, we got quite a bit. A phantasmagoric devil who appears as an ever-shifting cloud of dust. The flame desert whirlwinds are manifestations of Amy. That looks like it right here. Juarez. Appears as a man in, in leopard skin lives in the south of the flame desert where he yearns for the lush forest beyond. That looks like a place for him. A pale man with a serpent tail. He can make himself and others fly. He loves death and lives by the boneyard in the north. This is the closest area to the bone yard that isn't in Amy's position, so we'll put him there. And unfortunately, that's all the crests we have right now, but that now means we need to go back to the menu. And now we have to set up all our crest changes again. Because he now has barrier and bright light. You know what? I'd rather you not have those. Remove. Agaras, earth edge and rock rot, that works for you. Rage and Red Rave. We're going to remove that one. Juarez is Red Rave. You have Heat Edge. But guess who else got Heat Edge? Red Rave. Look at that. You'll notice Red Rave is now in blue. If we look up here, Red Rave is 16. But now, if we add the Grimoire, if we add the uh, Sea Tree Crest, Rage is now 12. And Red Rave, because we have two now that use Red Rave, is 8. So now I'm going to take you off. You're fine. You're fine. And can I put Zipar on you? No, this actually poses us the problem. I could do Barry and Bright Light here, or I could do Gale and Gale Spin, and hey, guess what? Gale Spin will be less. I think because of what comes up next, we're going to start with Salos, but I probably will have to change. And then you have Handras, Folklore, you now have Vasago I'm going to remove from you. And can I put anything else on you that will change? Oh, I could give you Rom, but we will once again save that. So yeah. Oh, did I do Joachim? Joachim needs a couple more. Here we go. We can put Zipar on you. And you now have Earth Edge, Shield, and Rock Rod is now eight. Can we put another one on you? Because you have the room for it. Well, we could have him use one or two of these. But I think I will just leave them off on him for right now. So we're about as set up as I can get. Actually, wait. Blanca's going to change one crest. Bathin is nice, but I want Zipar. I'm sorry, Grimori. You know what? I could take off Air Edge. And put on... What was that one I was looking at? Barbados. That was it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so we can put Bath and back on, actually. Because look at that. Gale Spin is now 8. We have Gales, Gale Spin, Barrier, Bright Light, Cure, Heal, Holy Edge... We got a lot of crap. Blanca is very equipped. So yes. We just have done a lot for Blanca. Alrighty. Now. It is time for us to do another one of Yuri. Yuri's. Yuri? <laughs> Alrighty. So I think my best bet is probably to do light. Because although we did dark... I don't have anything to go against dark. So maybe we'll go ahead and do the light or the water. I'm kind of leaning towards water because I don't have them anymore, but most of my enemies coming up are not fire-based. 
So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do light. And we'll save water probably for some other time. So light is over here, Heaven's Commandments. And now we go right here. There's an altar here. Hold your hand up. Sure. We'll give it 40. The Mare Salt counted as our boss battle. I did not count. I'm not counting Veronica. So, uh, yeah, the Mare Salt counts as our next one. So now we'll have another two that are back to back, but I will count them individually. Individually. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and exit. And then we'll do the stuff from personal. So we got the Radius Soul now. All right. Personal. Yuri. Fusion. Radius. Chivalrous Soul. All right, you'll now see our first couple of reds. Those are stats that have gone down from Yuri's basic. But this is why we soul charge. Oh, hey, we can bump him up to three already. Very nice. Not enough for here, so we'll leave that be. But now if we go back to status... Oh, hey, look! Those stats are now normal and everything else is boosted. Very, very good. And his skill list is Barrier, Special Defense, and Heaven. Anti-ground up. With an up charge. Alrighty. I have got a lot of money. So I think... We're gonna do some shopping. Nothing new, but we can get that. And I use some items. Let's get back our tents. Uh, two more talismans. Oh, we don't need any of those. I haven't been using them. One just so I have 25 again. Try for a discount. And we have leveled up to rank D. Shit gets faster. I'll show you in just a second here. Yeah, you're doing nothing. Oops. You have a leather cloak, which is a better item for you anyway, so that's good. All right. We're actually going to sell things. We're not actually going to do anything with that. One cloak of rag. Two cotton shirt. One officer coat. And yeah, we can't sell our tissues. We can't sell the lottery ticket either, which is also good. Try for a markup. We can now do 10% instead of 5. And it'll go faster. Which isn't too bad, because that's just about the same as the uh, normal thing anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, the reason I haven't actually gone on yet is, uh... <laughs> we'll miss two things if we're not careful here. Let's go back to the wine cellar. Now, this will take me a while, because now I do have to remember what position they were in. Oh, first of all, party member. Actually, we'll put Joachim in Blanca's position. Blanca in... No, Blanca. In top position. Oh, and we shall... Uh... Oh, team name. There we go.
Oh, I won't fit it all in. We'll see how far we get. Ooh, we will, but I have to do it as one one word. Doggo Supreme. We now have Team Doggo Supreme. With Blanca in the lead. <laughs> and if we save, Blanca is listed as our team leader and Doggo Supreme is our team. <laughs> yes, that is silly and I love it. <laughs> Alrighty. So our next goal, I forget, but there are two things we need to do here. I'm looking for one guy first, because he'll come up earlier. Now, thankfully, I already did all these puzzles earlier, so I should just have to go in. There he is. What kind of business is this? Very good question. Lucky chests. We have a lot of cash, so I will be trying this a couple of times because I do believe we get a crest out of it. Let's do it. We get two chances, which basically means two fails, but yeah. Let's start this. So that has a mana leaf in it. There a leaf. There a leaf. Now this one we know. Sweet. Mana Leaf. Kablooey. There, Leaf. Pure Leaf. Aww. Yep, that's it. We failed. We got a Mana Leaf and a Pure Leaf out of it. Let's try this again. We got a lot of ca of cash, so I'm going to try this a couple of times because I believe I get, if I get all of them... Cool. Again, if I, I believe if I get all of them, I do get a better item. Okay, so we have mana and a pure. Mana is right above. So the bottom one has a pure leaf. Sweet! There, leaf. There, I leave. We got them all. We're going to put me right at. We're going to put him right out of business. Oh, that's what it is. It's a stud card. Well, you know what? We got the item. Now you'll notice we only had Pierre. We only had Gerard. Yep, wrong way. We only had Gerard. Pierre ain't too far off though. Uh, we'll just have to go a little tiny bit past, uh, Lahav. Like, literally open up the next area and we'll get the new chance. But first, we do have one more thing here to do. Now, we've taken all the bandits out, but they can still get attacked by those Gregor and Centipede things. And there they are, as a matter of fact. I'm going to use some Gale Spin here. Ooh, can Bright Light get a little higher? Nope. Let's do it here. Sweet. A lot of damage, too. Alright, let's knock out the other one.
Alright, did I give you new shit? Red Rave. Well, Yuri is in dark form at least, so it doesn't do a ton to him. Oh yeah, apparently you just have really high physical. But good enough, we defeated it. If that's all they've got, no problem. It's not a defense thing. It just has a hot, a heckin' ton of it. Blanca leveled up. Cool. Blanca's actually gonna get a lot. Pass through here. 